And thank you, New York. And it's so it's so much fun to be out here from LA. My my writers are still getting mic'd up, so oh no, I have to talk. But I am absolutely thrilled, thrilled to be here today. Okay. Come, yeah, join, join. Where am I on your couch? You are I'm next to me and Jeannie. Carson um, I'm Deborah Eckerling. I'm the creator of Write On Online, which is a website and community for writers. And I also do the blog and social media for Campus Explorer, which is a website that helps people of all ages plan for college. And that's at Campus Explorer, so you can find me both places. And I'm just so thrilled to be here today with Tracy Jackson, who is a screenwriter, documentary filmmaker, and author of a new book, Between a Rock and a Hot Place. And she's at Tracy Jackson 4. And we also have Jeannie Vallette Bowerman, and Jeannie is a screenwriter slash author slash creator, a co-creator of Script Chat, which is a Twitter chat. And I will let them add a little bit more to their bio. So, Tracy? I am, this is the writer's group. I started as a screenwriter many years ago, long before there was any social media. So that really, social media in the beginning of my career had nothing to do with it, but for the last four years, I've been a documentary filmmaker and an author. And I suppose the greatest, um, the greatest tool I've had in, in pushing my work and publicizing my work and promoting my work and selling my work uh, in, in many, many platforms the last four years is, is the outreach and, and Twitter and, and other social media, but primarily Twitter. So I would have to say that I've had success the last four years thanks to being able to navigate through my, my way through the labyrinth of Twitter and, and all those people out there. And, and that is why you are here. And that is why I am here. And, and, and Jeannie, and, and before you, you go on, I have to say that, that Tracy and I met in real life and then we... IRL. And that, yeah, IRL, and then we continued the conversation. And Jeannie and I met through Twitter and then met in real life a year later. And, and so it, it's all about cre meeting people and then connecting online and back and forth. So Jeannie, go. Um, I co-founded a um, screenwriting chat on Twitter called Script Chat on Sunday nights. And it was really the best way to develop a community of screenwriters. Um, there's all these writer chats that happen on Twitter. And there was not one for screenwriters. So we created this. And I also am known as the Twitter pimp angel. Because when I have my friends who have blog posts or they have books that are coming out or films that are, they're trying to raise money for, independent films, if it's a post or project I believe in, I will pimp the hell out of it. And, um, and so they call me the Twitter pimp angel. And that's my sort of, you know, my uh, brand, so to speak. Yeah, and we're not shy. And actually, I mentioned you both when I spoke in LA at the 140 oh, cool. in October. So. Cool. so there you go. So Tracy. You had this book just came out, yeah, and you book. had a directive prior to the book coming out, right, to get yourself out there? How did you go about creating? I, I decided that I had nine months, long enough to you know, have a child, to have a baby, um, <laughs> to have a book work, that I would devote those nine months, all of my energies, to promoting the book through social media. I have a blog. I, I would say one of the biggest things I do is I do provide a lot of my own content. I do, I'm a big content generator. So I was able to, through promoting content in all sorts of different ways, I know we're on a clock here, but I started out in September, I did something called Face to Facebook, because I decided I had to get out, being a first time author, known as a screenwriter, but not as an author, I had to get out to the independent bookstores, I had to get out to the people, and how would they get to know me to buy my book in this marketplace where people aren't buying very many books. So I did something called Face to Facebook, trying to connect social media with my book, where I went and remet a lot of the people I had connected with on Facebook but had never, hadn't seen in 40 years, 30 years, whatever. So that became a great tool. And then as I did that, I traveled the country and went to, in, went to independent bookstores and introduced myself, gave a little, you know, sort of, you know, a small gift and said I had a book came out, gave a galley, and kept in touch with them and followed the, the bookstores on Twitter, retweeted the bookstores on Twitter, and really made this connection. And that was sort of phase one of my, of my, um, my outreach through Twitter to, to promote the book. And then when the book came out, it was a whole different thing, which you'll probably 
I just took a minute, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's all about developing the live relationships and the online relationships and the way they work together, and right? Absolutely, you know, and, and I'm, as I was told early on, certainly when promoting a book, and, and I learned to do this through other things, but you have to go on and, and meet the other people who are doing, obviously, what you're doing. And I think one of the great things about Twitter and about the net is it in real life, and certainly as a writer, one always felt like, you know, there's only so many jobs, and there's only so much attention, there's only so many space in a magazine for ads and what have you. And the, so people are very stingy with their promoting other people or tweeting about someone else's book or being generous about someone else's thoughts. Whereas mm -hmm. this has opened up a world where there is enough room for everyone. So by being generous, people are generous back. And I think that was a great lesson that I learned, and it was also a great tool in helping me promote my material. Okay, and Jeannie, how did you develop Script Chat? Um, well, we were on this writer chat one night, and, and it was a regular write chat for novelists, whatever, and sort of, there was a lot of ego going around there, and, and, um, and so we decided we needed the screenwriter chat, and, and it immediately developed this tagline, bring your tequila and leave your ego behind. Um, and that it's, this is not a competition, it's a community. And that's mm -hmm. truly what we have. And we have some great um, produced screenwriters who've been on Script Chat as guests, um, like David Hayter, who wrote Watchmen, X-Men. The, the kind of writer and person that Twitter is attracting is typically a really generous person. So I can approach these produced screenwriters and bigger people in the industry, Dana Brunetti, who's uh, um, was a producer of Social Network for Trigger Street, and he, he came on as a guest from 30,000 feet in the air. I mean, the people who, these, you know, these pros in the industry who come on to Twitter, it just, they, they want to communicate, they want to talk, they want to get back. So it's really easy to do that. And, and then our community of screenwriters all help each other, and, and that's sort of how we got together, because there was just this need. And now we've become this force. And um, Script Magazine is one of our sponsors, and and um, and the tracking board, all these these different Great American Pitch Fest. I mean, there's there's these now companies outside of us. You know, these bigger companies that screenwriters don't have a personal way to get to now have found us because we are this sort of force now, and we've developed a really great community that way. It, and my story for those who are just meeting me, is I started right on online as a live writer support group in Santa Monica. And that was going, it was live for eight and a half years, but um, a few years, three years ago, someone was like, Deb, you need a dedicated blog. So I started a blog for it, and then a friend of mine had a book come out. So, oh, great, an interview. And then it just spiraled. I started doing author interviews, just, just an extra platform for writers so they can share their voice. Jeannie's one of my contributors, Tracy's been on the blog, and, it, it, and it's just another way to develop the relationships, give back, trade um, articles on each other's blogs, connect in the community, and what happened is because of social media and Twitter and the Facebook page where people post their goals and I, I cheer, cheer them on, um, it became a little bit bigger than me, so now it's a blog talk radio show instead of a live meeting. So writers can connect once a month and, and chat in or call in, and just it's all about making the connection, creating the content, which I know both of you were all big content content um, cheer honors because you, when I spoke in LA, I said, okay, good morning, writers, because we're all writers. And it's true. Everybody, especially in the social day and age, is a writer. So um, a tip from each of you on how someone who does not know their voice yet, how they can get their voice out there. Well, it's always the same thing. I think it's, you know, a writer writes. And now, I, obviously, you know, one can write in 140 characters, which takes a lot of the pressure off in terms of, of long form. I think that, I, I know in my own case, which what's worked is you know it, you know the blog is connected to the Twitter is connected to the LinkedIn is connected to the so it all goes off into this you know as we all know into this kind of orbit and by my creating my content and writing and and not being afraid I think that I would have to say advice wise don't be afraid I remember the first time I blogged for Huffington Post I just wrote a blog and sent it in and went oh you know 
they probably won't take it, but why not try? And what's the worst anyone can say? At least, you know, an online no is sort of easier, like an email than a telephone call in the, in the old days. No, we don't want you. Just don't know when you can, you know, trash it. So if you write something, you know, send it out. Find the places who are receptive to your content. Find the people who are interested in what you are interested in, what you want to do. And, they, and it's endless, as we all know. You know, if it's from food to whatever, you know, who knows? I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's the whole world. So send your stuff out. Somebody will take it, and then you will reblog it somewhere else, and it'll reblog it somewhere else, and it'll get picked up. And you know, have a web page, have a place where people can come back right. to and find you. I think that's one yeah. of the biggest things. And I tell professional writers this all the time, people who have published many, many books. You have to have a website of some sort, and it's all a about. Page is you, you and know, it you is your homepage. all about positioning yourself as an expert because we're all an expert in something. Jeannie, um, one of the things that I do is I use Twitter to sort of test story ideas, and I have um, I have what they has now become a hashtag Panera Office, and I write out of Panera often, and um, I have a Panera Creeper. <laughs> That's your office. <laughs> yeah, and I have a Panera Creeper, and I have, and so I will tweet out things that I'm watching in the room, like about this first date and about you know this this Creeper slash stalker guy, I have. and um, if they're biting on it, you know, if they're then I'll then I'll do a blog post on it, and and then I'll get tons of hits to it. And I used Twitter to sort of test my voice and test. And also, there was one time I tweeted out this whole, um, I'm such a voyeur, I, I tweeted out this whole breakup that happened. It was like a 45 minute breakup at start, in the Starbucks parking lot in the Are rain. Are you kidding me? No, and I had hundreds of that. people like on the edge of their seat <laughs> wanting to know what was happening. And I only tweeted out the body language of these people. And I ended up having, at the end of it, had an agent approach me and said, I cannot believe what you expressed in 140 character bits. When your novel is done, send it to me. I mean, you just, you never it, know who's watching. It, it, it's true. And, and I think the, the big lesson as we're wrapping up is be yourself, be authentic, get the word out there. And, and I'm going to, you each have 140 words to say a final thought. Jeannie? Uh, pay it forward. Okay, yes, that was only three, you get more despair. And Tracy? I would say, you know, be, fear, be fearless, uh, be proactive, and just, you know, don't hear no is no. Just hear no is not today and keep going forward. And to just add to it, just get your, get your word out there. If you don't have a lot of time to write, write in five, 10, 15 minute increments, set a timer, and that way, you have success and you'll have words out there, but, but do it. Just be yourself and go for it. And remember, right on, have to say that. Um, we have Jeannie, is Jeannie, J-E-A-N-N-E-V-V, -E 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 and Tracy Jackson Ford, T-R-A-C-E-Y Jackson Ford, and right on online, Deborah Eckerling. Thank you so much. Keep writing, tweet us. We'd love to connect with you more. So thanks so much, and thanks, Jeff, and thanks, New York. Thank you.